Hey there you lot, I'm Dark and today we'll be coming back with another one and today we're going to be talking about Dream. This is a poorly drawn MS Paint guy on a green background who does Minecraft videos and recently he's been exposed for apparently faking his speedrun. Don't believe me, we'll get into the evidence in just a bit but if you do enjoy the video like my content please like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it a lot and without further ado let's get into the video. So if you don't know who Dream is, I like I've said before, he's that badly drawn stick figure on a green background who does okay Minecraft videos. Like his early ones used to be good, but after the introduction of other YouTubers and his stands, which I will be uploading a video on by next week, uh, the whole community just put me off his content. Uh, there was always one Dream event, however, which I would always watch, and that was his 1.16 RSG speedruns on Twitch. Now, if you don't know what an RSG speedrun is, it's basically a random seed generation speedrun of Minecraft hence RSG, which played on the 1.16 version of the game. This was one of the most entertaining things to watch made by Dream because he showed his crazy skill. Mind you, his PvP ability is a bit bad, I could probably beat him, but still. But his other skills, like his never portal building and his overall game sense just made him each and every run mesmerizing. But recently, a well-known mod in the speedrunning community, speedrun.com, GeoSquare, has come out with what I believe is a 29-page document showing apparent proof that Dream altered variables in the game relating to his drop rates. I'm not going to lie to you guys, it looks like Dream is guilty. Here is the official statement by GeoSquare. We would like to apologize for taking so long to address this issue. Being both far more complicated and high profile than previous situations, we wanted to make sure to handle this properly and ensure we made the correct decision. We have decided to reject Dream was Taken's 19 minutes and 24 seconds speedrun in 1.16 RSG. It has been demonstrated beyond any reasonable doubt to be illegitimate. We thoroughly investigated every possible reason for his extreme odds including bias data and Minecraft glitches, and could not find any conceivable explanation. The chance that Dream received his power barter and his blaze rod luck is extreme enough and that we can be sure this run is as illegitimate as any run we have ever rejected. We would like to reiterate that, as stated in the Minecraft speedrun evidence standards linked in speedrun.com slash MC rules, rather than disallowing former cheaters from submitting future runs, we place the burden of exhaustive proof on them in order to accept it. So if you don't know what that means, basically Dream altered the RNG values in the game, essentially giving him a higher chance of getting Ender Pearl and Blaze Rod drops than ever. Dream has consequentially responded by saying, my 1.16 run was just rejected after research due to it being too unlikely to verify. A video was made by a head mod in YouTuber GeoSquare using my name and clickbaiting cheating speedrunning in order to get easy views. Definitely a response soon, total BS. And a bunch of other excuses that have been disproved in the Google Doc and in the video made by GeoSquare, link in the description. With the statistics provided by the team, you would now have to get every human on earth to do 11 runs each before you even have a chance of guessing drop rates luckier than dreams. For the plain figures, with adjusted bias, he has a 1 in 83 billion chance of getting a better run or equal than he did in that run. And don't forget that this was done from an average of 6 runs, so that means this was done consistently. For a visualization of how abnormal this is, this is a chart showing the drop rates of other speedrunners like Illumina and Benix's drop rates, and the almost vertical one is Dreams. Pretty sketch, right? Now, there is a few ideas I have as to why Dream might have done this. The first is that he wanted to get a better drop rate to get more views, which would make him kind of scummy. I say that like he isn't already acting scummy on his Twitter art, but the more feasible idea I have is that he wanted to get better drop rates so that he could draw in and entertain more viewers on his live stream. Once he did get a world record time however he was forced to submit it because he did not want to disclose the fact that he altered his game for more views with this i kind of could understand where he was coming from but to be honest uh greed seems to have gotten the better of this guy overall he shouldn't have done it and day by day dream does something stupid that makes him look bad and my respect for him shrinks continually if you have a different opinion feel free to leave a polite comment in the comments but yeah that was me leave a like and subscribe and i'm done for today you lot bye